What's up, guys? <laughs> How's that for an epic intro, right? <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, this is just Flood Man. Uh, Flooding Mon 14. Um, my name is Joshua Jones. I am your host. And we are back, guys, with another uh, episode of uh, Yu Gi Oh! card openings. And I'm, uh, I'm glad to join you. It, it really is great to be here. Uh, Let's see, I think last time we had opened, let's see, yes, this 2012 Zexel 10. And this is the recap on those, pretty much. We got, like, the Photon, the Gaga -ga -ga Magician, Gaga -ga Bolt, Wax Light, some other cards. And, uh, yeah, Giga Brilliant here. And, uh, yeah. And, of course, we also started opening uh, Brotherhood of the Fire Fist. Uh, and with that, we, of course, got the... Secret Platinum Secret Rare, Tiger King, along with the, uh, yeah, some really, really good pulls, guys, like Downer Magician, and, yeah, some other stuff, uh, Nightmare Shark, Freeze It On, definitely one of my favorites, man, Freeze It On, check that bad boy out, yeah, yeah. well, anyway, uh, hope you guys are doing alright tonight, I'm doing, uh, doing pretty good myself, and, uh, yeah, we're going to start uh, opening some more packs. I'm excited. <clears throat> uh, let's see, I think last time we only had one more pack to open out of this Mega Ten. And uh, let me just see if I can find it real quick for you guys. And we will start opening some packs, man. Yeah, that's what we do. Let's see, where did I put that Mega Pack at? Uh, I thought I had it right here, but I guess not. Well, anyway, guys, like, uh, I, I literally, well, I look for this pack. I literally just uh, got back from vacation, which, I uh, from a, uh, a nearby, uh, a nearby city. And it was, it was pretty nice. Uh, it was just kind of like a, you know, a nice little family vacation. And, uh, yeah, man, we had, we had a great time, uh. One of my uh, one of my family members graduated. Actually, we had two graduations uh, that I knew of this weekend. But I don't know about you guys, but as with graduations, uh, yeah, it tends to be a lot more people than you you know remember. Like, there's always excuse me, but there's always like you know one or two people I forget, and yeah, sometimes I feel guilty. But and eh, what are you gonna do? Anyway, found the pack, and uh, well, what do you say we? Go ahead and get right to it, huh? Let's just go ahead and pop this bad ba baby open. Mega 10 pack 2014. Alright, you guys ready? I'm ready. Let's find some cards, man. I'm excited. <laughs> like, a lot of people seem to get, like, you know, kind of jet lag after a vacation, but not me. I mean, the whole time I was just riding shotgun, man, so I blast. Uh, I'll, I'll probably wind up talking about it a little bit, but I'll try not to talk about it too much. <laughs> Get to some of these tens tonight. Know what I mean? Alright. Ah, there's that new car smell. Man, I missed that on vacation. <laughs> Got homesick from the uh, new car smell. <laughs> Anyways, we have a googly eyes drum dragon. <laughs> Funny. We have an Umbral Horror uniform. <laughs> uh, Umbral Horror. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard while attacking a monster, you can special summon two Umbral Horror monsters from your deck. You can only use the effect of Umbral Horror uniform once per turn. Wow. So basically. Like, if I'm reading this effect right, it's a suicide kill only effect. Because it says when this card is destroyed by battle while attacking a monster. So, in other words, and this thing has zero attack. See? Zero, whoa, yeah, so, uh, you know, I don't know much about Umbral Horror monsters or the strategy. But I'm guessing that if you really want this effect, uh, it would, uh, well, I'm guessing what will happen is 
you can summon two Umbral Whore, so you can basically pull a uh, monster combo from your deck, which... Is it worth a suicide kill? Yeah. Yeah, sure, yeah. You know, because you could always, like, combine this with the uh, Ojama Trio, for instance, and the final attack order. Uh, this is some of the strategy I was talking about last, last time. And then you could always, like, eh, just boost. Or, well, no, you don't even have to boost... Ojama Trio, as long as you did Ojama, the Ojama tokens and they were uh, face up in attack mode with final attack order, zero attack. Yeah, zero attacking zero. Does it destroy itself? Eh, you know, I don't think it. Well, would it? You know, that's a great question. I think by the rules it wouldn't. But if you just increased. Excuse me, oh, the Ojama tokens power to, let's say, eh, 100 or 200. Yeah, not a bad effect uh, with a magic card. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Let's see if we find any more of those Umbra Horror monsters. Maybe there's a good combo. But anyway, Bujingi Ophidian. Yeah. Looks pretty cool. Another Bujingi monster. Ghost Rick Stein. I don't think we have this one yet. Ghost Rick Stein. Um, let me... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's actually been a few days since I... Uh... Since I opened these tins, so my memory is going to be a little, uh, a little, you know, here and there, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, Modolce, is that say? Oh, wow, well, it does. Chicot, chicotlets, chicotlets. Modolce, chicotlets. <laughs> thought it said chocolates for some reason. And our next card is Five Brothers Explosion. Wow. Really good card. Oh, and uh, by the way, guys and ladies and gentlemen, sorry if I'm sort of whispering in this video, not kind of yelling and oh my god, he's not excited anymore. No, but that's false. I'm definitely still excited. It's just that uh, yeah, someone's in there trying to sleep, so gotta keep it down at night. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. Anyway, Five Brothers Explosion, really good card. Uh, when this card's activated, you gain 500 life points for each continuous spell or trap you control. So basically, you're going to get a lot of points when this card's activated uh, because of the way uh, Fire Fist decks work. So it's a really good card. Uh, and also, you could just use it by itself. You don't have to use it with the uh, Brotherhood cards. Eh, always a thought. Uh, if this face-up card you control is sent to the graveyard by an opponent's card effect, inflict 500 points of damage to your opponent for each continuous spell or trap in your graveyard. That's... <laughs> wow. That is... Whew, nasty. Ugh, man. And I tell you, one of the best things about this card... Um, now, most of the time, your opponent will try to destroy whatever face-up continuous card you got. And this one, they probably won't. They'll try to avoid it. But I'll tell you what you could do. Most players these days will run... Mm, Mystical Space Typhoon is something, you know, that just either targets one or two. And uh, there's actually a trap card called, uh, I think it's Fairy's Hand Mirror. Don't quote me on that, but it's one of the uh, hand mirrors. And what it does is change the effect of a spell or trap that targets to a target that you want to change it to. So if you can combine that card with this and the, uh, and the Fire Fist strategy, yeah, man, that's, that's nasty. Woo. For each one in your graveyard, yeah, yeah, can that can be a an, a quick kill for sure. But yeah, I'll put that with the Brotherhood cards. Anyway, next card we have a Vampire Duke. Wow, this card looks really cool, by the way. <laughs> I want to suck your blood. <laughs> yeah, interesting. Anyway, next card is oh wow, oh my God, an ultra rare. Bujin Arasada. Wow. Oh my god. I can't believe I pulled this card. Wow, this is a really good card. Um, okay, its effect is if a Bujin monster in your graveyard or face up on the side of the field is banished.